So let's assume that matrix A is a square matrix and this matrix is made up of elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Now this matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix. So how do we find the trace of this matrix? Now the trace of matrix A which is denoted as TR of A is giving us the sum of the elements in the leading diagonal. So considering the elements in the leading diagonal, we have 1, 9 and then 8. Now let's try to sum them up. So that's going to be 1 plus 9 plus 8 and that's equal to 18. Therefore, the trace of matrix A is equal to 18. Now, let's try another example. Let's assume that we have B to be a 2 by 2 matrix containing elements 2, 1, 0, 3. Let's try to find the trace of this matrix. So, the trace of matrix B is equal to let's add up the elements in the leading diagonal and that's equal to 2 plus 3 and that is equal to 5 therefore the trace of matrix B is equal to 5 and notice that to find or to obtain the trace of a given matrix the matrix needs to be a square matrix now if the matrix is not a square matrix then the trace of that particular matrix is undefined now let's move on as we discuss some of the basic properties of the trace of a given matrix. Now let's assume that we have A and B to be matrices of suitable orders or suitable sizes and then we have K to be a scalar. So let A and B be matrices of suitable orders or sizes and then let k be a scalar 1 the trace of matrix a is equal to the trace of the transpose of matrix a 2 the trace of matrix A plus B is equal to the trace of matrix A plus the trace of matrix B. 3. The trace of the matrix KA is equal to K times the trace of matrix A. And then lastly, the trace of the matrix AB is equal to the trace of the matrix BA. Now what this primarily means is that the order of multiplication of the two matrices is not really important provided the two matrices can be multiplied. In that case, you have the trace of matrix AB to be equal to the trace of matrix BA. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.